All right, guys, in this video, what I'm going to introduce you to is a really cool way, uh, a really cool recording camera that uses AI to record sports games. And this is not just for soccer. This is for, uh, this can be used for basketball, for tennis, for any kind of sport, because typically what you want to have is if you're the parent, you're going to be filming maybe some of your kids games, but you list, miss a lot of the experience in that uh, because you're looking through that small lens and so you're not getting the big picture and the recording doesn't have the same kind of analytics as well so this has actually got professional solutions for all levels of soccer games and other sports and i wanted to tell you about it so it was actually founded back in in 2013 so this is not a new company and they're really at the forefront of the ai driven sports video technology now this isn't going to be used in the premier league but for a lot of other professional leagues, it's actually being used because the stream ends up being so good because it's able to follow the ball and it just works. So it's revolutionized the way that sports are recorded and analyzed. And there's over 30,000 systems installed worldwide. And what it does is you can actually record the game and get more metrics and have those two links. So it's really interesting how it works, but this is why consumers love Pixelot. It's affordable and it's automated, right? And I think that's really key. So once you set it up, you can actually just enjoy the game. As you can see here on the screen on the left, it can actually pick up all the different players and it helps understand where it is. And so the actual, you don't need to, to pivot or have it move your tripod over. It just is set up. And then once it starts, it will follow the, 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 the play. And so it does it smoothly. So the pan is going to be smoothly. It's going to be a better experience. It's going to catch everything. I don't know if you've ever filmed something and then you realize you didn't get the goal because you were like a little bit behind. It's going to, you know, get rid of all of that and it's going to have a great experience. And yeah, so it intelligently follows the ball, capturing all the action in real time. It streams directly to video. So you can actually have a link that everyone can see right away. So if you're the person that films on your soccer team, you, you're not going to need to download that, move it, you know, put up on YouTube or, or that kind of thing. It's all going to be, save you a lot of time. It's all streamlined. So it integrates the tact, the panoramic tactical video uh, production, because it will pan back and forth with the vid swap analytics. So that can give coaches analytics about each of those players. And it makes it pretty interesting as well. So they're calibrated to track and record every player, delivering professional quality footage, and it's all powered by AI. So you don't need to operate it. And that's really the key. So it, it really makes a lot of sense. It's affordable and it, again, it has automation. It's, it's lightweight and easy to set up. So it's got that portability. So you can actually just not only use it just for home games, but also for away games. It's not going to be difficult to do that. And the comprehensive analysis will allow you for detailed game breakdowns, which will enhance the coaching that you get. And it also enhance the player development because you'll get better intel and you'll get things that maybe the naked eye wouldn't see or wouldn't be able to recognize. Um, and so it gives you that, that third man in the room type of thing. And it's actually used by professionals, very elite clubs, including FC Barcelona and Real Madrid. And because of that, you know, they, they have that reputation. In fact, very interestingly enough, Fernando Gomes with Hugo Freitas of the PF, which is the Portuguese Football Federation, has recommended these to improve the performance analysis and media coverage. And it's really interesting because actually this year in Portugal, they're going to be using this across multiple leagues. So they're going to be using it on the women's league, the top tier, the league of BPI in Portugal and on some of the, I think the under 23 league, they're going to be using it as well. And yeah, I think there's a few leagues that they're, they're trying it out on in of professional level soccer in Portugal, which is really interesting. So the Portuguese football federation, which Portugal produces a tremendous amount of high quality talent, particularly for the size of the country. And so they're partnering with them to get this more data, data centric, because it's great. It's a great test for Portugal because in Portugal, everyone loves football. So it's going to be really interesting how they are able to share some of those data center metrics or some of those data metrics with fans that they're getting from this as well.
So it should be really interesting. And it just showcases one of the real positive sides of AI that, that it can do. Cause when you just set up the, the, the camera, you watch the whole game live, and then you have a better recording at the end of it. It's less time. It's better on so many levels. Uh, so it's also suggested by certain coaches that uh, they actually use this for Rick Abbott, for the CASV, use this for the full coverage of the U-12 basketball, a baseball tournament. It made a better quality experience for high quality streaming, for pulling out highlights, and basically making a, a whole experience for all these families because they have a, a good recording of their son or daughter playing. So yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And there are many pro clubs that actually trust Pixwatt, FC Barcelona, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Benfica, and it's being used in Syria A in Italy, League One and League Two in France, the Scottish Premiership, and more. So it's, it's probably the premier AI recording tool. You can't go wrong with it. How much does it cost? About 2,400 euros, including the license. So there's going to be some different packages based on how much data you need from that. And there are some alternatives that I've been familiar with. But again, this whole movement is raising the game. Vio is a similar AI-driven camera system. It is more expensive, however. There's the Huddle Focus. It's got to focus just on team sports. And it's a higher cost and it's integrated with their Huddle program. So if you really want the best of both worlds, Pixel has unmatched portability, ease of use, cost effectiveness, analytics, better product at the end of the day. And it just makes so much sense. It will save you so much time. As, as I said, a lot of clubs are using this. You can use this for all kinds of different sports. Over 3 million games have produced live, live coverage using the Pixel on 17 different sports. 300,000 hours of live matches streamed annually just on the Pixelot. This is like really great technology. And I'll put a link in the description if you want to go to the site, learn more about it. And this will take your club's analysis to the next level. Pixelot will make it better for your club. You'll have a better legacy recording of your child's playing that they can go back to, that they can see the highlights and have those pulled out. So they can see their specific highlights rather than, you know, trying to find, oh, I, I know I did something in this game and then you can't find it. So there's a lot of, of time saving and quality enhancing that the Pixelot does. And I think it's a great system. I'm an affiliate, so I will earn a commission if you purchase. And if you go through the link in the description, then you'll get the same products. You won't pay any more, but you'll, you'll have a better experience with Pixelot. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions or you want to know more about it, could feel free to reach out. I'm more than happy to answer any questions, but hopefully this gives you some idea of what could be going on. All right, that's it for this video. Check out the link in the description, check out their site. And uh, it's something I'm really excited about.